Hello, folks. Hey, it's Shooter. Hey, we're going to go over risk on, risk off here on Hump Day. Hey, try and do this every week, midweek. Give you a look. It's January 12th, 2022. Uh, let's uh, jump into disclosures here. Of course, prior success does not guarantee future performance. Um, of course, print this and review it at your leisure. Starting with the S&P, we're you know, looking at for a little bit lower, I think maybe about 455, uh, you know, with a spider uh, ETF trust. Uh, maybe it pushed to 458 and then break down again, put it in the, the final low, maybe around 454. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Maybe get a little push first to maybe 380 on the NASDAQ, and then we break down, I think, towards that 368 that we posted on Sunday. Taking a look at the Dow, you know, it looks like we put in a two up here, maybe about 360, 70, and then break down for our final low, maybe around 351. So next week, we should have a little upside on the, the Dow. Very similar look in the Russells, uh, in the IWM Russells 2000 ETF. Maybe we break down here. I think our highs in here off of that 216.69, put in a 209. Then maybe we bounce to 213. And then we put in our final four down here around 205. Now realize there's no time duration on Elliott Waves, so this could move way the heck over here and still be valid. So, all right, let's take a look at TLT. Now, this seems very interesting to me. We have this double bottom that sort of formed. Uh, now I have an alt count that takes us up to about 45. And then I also have a bounce out here on the daily, which comes in around 156. So let me just run that again so you can see it. Because this is the most interesting count. Where was it? It was over on the 90 minute. Maybe I was wrong. Didn't recall it right. That's a possibility after looking at as many charts as I have. So this is our two, there it is. Okay, so it is on the 90 minute. Let's just come out in the four hour so we can see that a little better. So the count off of this 141, it gives me, you know, uh, sort of a, uh, I'm gonna say leading diagonal, but it actually could end up being a flat, so. But uh, we come off this 141. Then we had that alt count, which I'll have to rescan now because I took it out. But break this down. You know, that could be a five wave down to 136, but I doubt that. Let me come in and do a scan just on a corrective leg and see what that would look like. I have to go back to that 90 minute again and do it again. Sometimes it's a little finicky. Now it's not giving me the alt width. So we're gonna manually draw what I think it's going to do. So something like this, assuming this is our A. B, C would be down about there, so. Got to get right in the right tool so I can click on it. So that would be what an ABC would look down. So maybe 140, 141. So still in that range there. So, you know, I got a little confluence to the downside, I would say, because that potentially could be a five wave. So that's one reason I'm saying maybe risk a buck, you know, see if we get that bounce off that too. Once we get that 141 in, you know, watch RSI here because we confirmed, you know, the good thing here is that's one, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Now it's sort of pushing beyond there. So that might mean continuation. So again, real tight shot off that 141, 33, if you're going to take it, uh, you know, and I would stay very tight. Uh, you know, you're coming in around 141. So maybe 142s, 143s, 144s, maybe a few 146s on the way up. Or you can wait for the bounce and see if we get a back test and then put something on there. But that's what I have for risk on and risk off folks this week. Um, until next time, great trading and, you know, let's make 2022 the best year ever, folks.